Contributing to the journey of a developed India, the Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Corridor stands as a pivotal project accelerating the pace of progress. Spanning 156 kilometers in Maharashtra and 352 kilometers in Gujarat, this transformative endeavor is rapidly taking shape. The corridor will feature 12 state of the art stations, with four located in Maharashtra and eight in Gujarat each designed to enhance connectivity and redefine travel experiences. The Maharashtra section of the project is being developed through multiple specialized packages including three civil packages, a depot and a track package. Notably, the stretch from Mumbai station to the next 21 kilometers will run underground. Beyond this, the alignment transitions to an elevated structure extending from Shil Fata near Thane to Zaroli village at the Gujarat border. Spanning 135 kilometers, this elevated section is one of the most challenging stretches of the entire corridor. It navigates through rugged terrains of the Sahyadri mountain range in Thane and Palghar districts. Integrate rail crossings and multiple mountain tunnels, making it a truly unique and complex engineering marvel within the project. As the route progresses near Desai Khari in Thane, the bullet train corridor encounters a challenging 1.5 km stretch of the marshland. To overcome this, temporary access bridges are being built, ensuring seamless movement of workers, engineers and machinery. Similarly, in Bhivandi, an 85-meter-long temporary access bridge is being constructed over a tributary of the Ulhas River, facilitating access to further 4 kilometers of remote and difficult terrain ahead for construction teams and equipment. Among the stations in this section, Thani stands out as the most challenging due to its location within a sensitive mangrove area. Committed to preserving this viral ecosystem, NHSRCL has designed the Thane station with a unique approach that sets it apart from others. The station's entrance will be located on separate premises, while the concourse and the platform structures will be elevated entirely on piers. These two premises will be connected by a rigid frame, minimizing the removal of mangroves during construction. This innovative design ensures minimal environmental impact, maintaining the ecological balance in the area. Thane station has been meticulously planned to accommodate future high-speed rail lines, ensuring seamless connectivity with upcoming routes. Efforts are underway to connect the Thane bullet train station with the Virar Ali Bagh multimodal corridor, aims to further enhance connectivity. Immediately after Thane station, the corridor will cross the central railway main line, which consists of nine railway tracks. To achieve this, a viaduct will be constructed, featuring three 75-meter long steel girders. This innovative bridge design ensures uninterrupted train operations and traffic flow on the central railway. The four platforms at Thane station will accommodate four lines that pass over these railway tracks, utilizing the same girders. Right after this crossing lies a challenging 410-meter stretch of inaccessible terrain. Flanked by the central railway tracks to the east and the Ulhas River to the west, this segment presents significant logistical difficulties for the movement of vehicles and machinery. Beyond this point, a 460-meter long steel bridge will span the Ulhas River, weighing approximately 9,000 tons, making it the heaviest bridge in the entire project. Unlike conventional river bridges that use full-span PSC girders, this structure incorporates 200-meter and two 130-meter steel girders to accommodate the navigation channel used by fishermen. Adding to the complexity, the river experiences water level fluctuations of up to 4 meters during tidal cycles, posing significant challenges to construction. Furthermore, with access to the site limited to one site for machinery and equipment, this bridge exemplifies the extraordinary challenges faced by engineers on this project. In Bhivandi, the bullet train corridor will pass beneath Mumbai Metro Line 5. To ensure safety and structural integrity, a 4-meter buffer height will be maintained between the metro's corridor girders, 
and the high-speed lines overhead equipment. This intricate task requires meticulous and advanced construction techniques, ensuring the safety of the metro infrastructure while achieving the precise alignment necessary for the bullet train. As the bullet train traverses through various regions of Maharashtra, it encounters terrains with elevated ground levels where constructing viaduct piers is not feasible. To address this, the project will utilize Japan's advanced RRR reinforced soil road structures with rigid facing technology for the first time in India. This technique prevents soil subsidence and ensures structural stability. While RE walls are widely employed across the country for roads and other infrastructure, this marks the first instance of their application in a rail corridor, showcasing a groundbreaking innovation in the Indian railway construction. As the bullet train corridor passes through Kharbao, it navigates a narrow 80 to 100 meter channel between Sanjay Gandhi National Park and Tungareshwa Wildlife Sanctuary. In this section, the corridor must cross existing infrastructure including the Central Railway's Diva Vasai Line, PWD roads and future developments such as the Western Dedicated Freight Corridor and the MMRDA's Multimodal Corridor. To ensure the protection of local wildlife, a 30-meter wide wildlife passage is being constructed, maintaining ecological balance in the region. This innovative wildlife passage is a collaborative effort involving the Central Railway, DFCCIL, PWD, MMRDA and NHSRCL. It will run underneath the bullet train corridor and the multimodal corridor while passing over the Central Railway. WDFC and PWD roads. The piers of the bullet train corridor in this area will rise 20 meters high, providing a 4.5 meter headroom above the wildlife passage. Additionally, the existing PWD road will be restructured, lowering it by 3 meters to align with the environmental requirements and ensure smooth passage for wildlife. In addition to these structures, the Maharashtra section of the corridor includes the construction of seven mountain tunnels cutting through rugged rock formations and challenging geological conditions. Each tunnel represents a monumental engineering endeavor, requiring the application of advanced technology and exceptional technical expertise. The longest of these tunnels will span 1.4 kilometers. All mountain tunnels are being constructed using the new Austrian tunneling method. In Maharashtra's coastal regions, the presence of high sulphate saline water poses a significant challenge for construction. To address this, high-grade concrete and at some places, stainless steel reinforcement bars are being utilized for construction. The Virar bullet train station is uniquely nestled into the hills and its design is inspired by the winds flowing through the surrounding mountains. This thoughtful architectural approach seamlessly integrates the station with its natural surroundings while reflecting the dynamic essence of the high-speed rail project. In Maharashtra, the project will feature its longest river bridge spanning 2.32 kilometers across the Vaitarna River. This bridge stands out not only for its impressive scale but also for the unique challenge it presents. It can only be constructed from one side. Accessing the area between the Western Railway and the Vaitarna River on the eastern side is nearly impossible. To address this, a temporary access bridge is being built, facilitating the movement of workers and equipment and ensuring uninterrupted progress in construction. Near Kailway Road in Palghar, another viaduct will be constructed where the high-speed rail corridor will cross six lines, including the MRVC Suburban Line, the Western Railway Main Line and the Western Dedicated Freight Corridor. Unlike the Thane Viaduct, this crossing is not perpendicular but aligned at an angular trajectory, making it significantly more challenging to execute. To tackle this complexity, the Foundation will employ advanced Shinso Pile technology, the 380-meter-long viaduct will consist of three 100-meter steel girders and one 80-meter girder. Moving further north, the alignment reaches Boisar Station, uniquely designed to reflect the cultural essence of the region. 
Boisar being a coastal area inhabited predominantly by the Konkani community engaged in the fishing industry features a station design inspired by the intricate patterns of fishing nets used by local fishermen. Beyond Boisar, the corridor weaves through mountain ranges and tunnels, eventually arriving at Zaroli, making the beginning of the Gujarat section. This transition includes another mountain tunnel, adding to the engineering marvels of the project as it seamlessly connects Maharashtra with Gujarat. Traversing through marshy terrains like Desai Khadi, Ulhas River, Kharbao and Vaitarna, as well as overcoming numerous other challenges, the elevated section of the Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train in Maharashtra stands as a testament to the technical brilliance, unwavering dedication and bold innovation. This project is not just a rail corridor, it's a remarkable step towards realizing the vision of Sashakta Bharat, Vikasit Bharat.